Thank you. I give the floor organization for the elimination of all forms of racial discrimination. You have the floor. Mr. President, the systematic human rights violations perpetrated in the occupied Palestinian territories have serious consequences, especially for Palestinian children, due to the large number of attacks on civilians causing death and massive destruction. Last year, 551 children died during Israel's military operation in Gaza. Indeed, children are often the victims of missile attacks on schools, homes, or even public hospitals. Children's suffering is not limited to physical injuries, but also psychological trauma such as post-traumatic stress disorder and severe depression. The fragile institutions under occupation cannot always guarantee access to education or health services, thus leading to tough living conditions and lack of stability in these children's lives. Moreover, as reported by UNICEF in 2013, the cruel and ill treatment of Palestinian children in Israeli military detention is widespread, systematic and institutionalized. UNICEF observations and recommendations have been pushed aside like most of the other wrongs perpetrated by the occupying power against the occupied people under its own heel. When stone-throwing Palestinian children are jailed, abused, traumatized, tortured, forced to stay in isolation in their cells, days day and night, deprived of their rights to live as children live everywhere. Why is the Human Rights Council more divided than united in calling upon Israel to honor its international obligations, including the International Convention on the Rights of the Child? Children are the first victims of occupation. The failure to protect and safeguard their most basic rights from the ongoing assaults must be seriously taken into account by the international community in its entirety. It has a responsibility to guarantee a more stable and secure future for generations of Palestinian children to enjoy the rights and privileges which Israelis and others the world over claim for themselves. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you.